Hey C here, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing another Sneaky Sushi Reacts video. I've done a similar one previously and it's about Xiao Mei Mei video. I don't know why did I actually do that, honestly. I was just scrolling through Sneaky Sushi's channel and I happened to saw that title. I'm just wondering like what the hell is that video even about? So I'm gonna react to 2 million dollar sugar baby. I don't know what the hell is that, but we're gonna try and see if it's actually interesting. Oh my god. Advertisement as always. Alright ladies, have you ever felt lost and without an aim in life? <laughs> Bro, I'm lost every single day. Like, I don't even know what the hell am I even doing. Maybe you're just done with university and dreading the corporate rat race. Well, I have good news for you, my little peaches. Ah, my little peaches. For now, you can live in luxury and style within a two million dollar house. All you have to do is find a big, fat cash cow sugar daddy. Look Honestly speaking, if I were to ever find a freaking sugar daddy, my expectation is so freaking high that I don't think I'll ever find a sugar daddy. Down into your pants, and if you see the presence of a penis fly trap, oh boy, you've struck the jackpot. That's your golden ticket to luxury living, baby. A luxury baby that's so impossible so today we're going to be experiencing the day in the life of becca an s tier sugar baby living in a multi-million dollar house bequeathed upon her by her sugar wow. daddy. just a precursor i have a somewhat neutral stance on the whole idea of being a sugar baby but i'll elaborate more on that at the end of the video for now let's tune our minds into a higher frequency of being an elite tier sugar baby with 33 questions with a sugar baby I like how he can actually talk while having all the like background shit moving around. That's so freaking cool. Like I can't even do that. Can't relate. Ooh. Wow, that's so freaking hey, luxurious. Hey Baka. Hey, you guys are here. Oh come on. How did she only notice the camera crew now? Oh hey, you're here. I totally didn't see the huge camera crew entering my house. Okay, ready? Sound speed and action. Hey. Hey Becca. Oh hey, I didn't notice you. <laughs> oh my god, I tell you. I think Sneaky Sushi can go be an actor, honestly. And what is the one thing people don't know about you? That I'm a sugar baby. What is a sugar baby? Ah, sugar baby is someone who enjoys the finer things in life, like expensive gifts and luxurious travels by her sugar daddy. Here's a champagne. Oh, thank you. Wow, can't relate to this style of sugar baby girls. Sugar daddy. Alright, take note ladies, if you actually drink your champagne, I'm sorry but you're a member of the lower caste. When you are at this elite level of a sugar baby, you don't drink your champagne. Ugh. If you don't drink your champagne, then what the hell do you do? I think I'm too low class to even understand what does that actually mean. This is delivery. Oh, thank you. Wow, who is it from? Let's see. <sighs> This guy from college was a crush on me. Um, okay. Does it actually matter now? Sugarbook is an online dating website for sugar babies and sugar daddies. You know, now I'm starting to doubt that you didn't know that this interview was happening. Two perfectly placed Gucci bags angled towards the camera. Look at how observant Sneaky Sushi is. Like, even that two bags of Gucci, he don't even let it go. He decided to talk about that shit. <laughs> if it's me, I won't even notice that bag over there. This interview is as fake as the wig you're wearing. Two Gucci bags. Oh, what a showboating little bitch. Is it not good enough that you have a sheep lamp? Even a sheep lamp? He don't even let it go, Xia. Wow. Oh my freaking god ass eye. How much is your allowance? It's about 5000 a month. $5,000 a month and you can't even afford a better wig? Becca, is this what they taught you in sugar baby school? Oh, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. What is this bullshit? A deaf girl in a shitty wig who owns a sheep lamp? It's not funny, Jace. It's not funny at all. I don't know what the hell am I even laughing at. It is so triggered at the wig that she's wearing though. Give her a break. I don't know is it me or what but like the more I watch that sugar baby girl the more cringy I feel Ooh, oh my god my hair actually stands what is the best gift you've ever received 
This two million dollar house is under my name. Wow. It's under my name. It's under my name. It's under my name. No one cares if it's really under your name, okay? No one cares. Uh. <laughs> It's under my name. I got a sheep lamp. What do you have, huh? Your your pathetic IKEA lamp. <laughs> hey, I don't even have an IKEA lamp. I don't even have any. I'm actually surviving on this small ass light that barely gives me any lights. Okay, okay. I still need these lights anyway. Mm, okay, yeah. Who needs to be kind or loving? Ugh. Eh, just buy me a sheep lamp. That's all I need. I swear he's actually super triggered by the sheep lamp. I don't know how many times he has been mentioning that sheep lamp thing, you know. Every comment that he have about her, he would talk about that sheep lamp. Harold, can you get me two glasses of champagne, please? Damn, Becca, you alcoholic. <laughs> Didn't you just drink a glass of champagne a minute ago? True. Didn't you just drink that? I like how he's just so freaking triggered at every freaking shit. Get your peasant eyes off those Gucci bags and focus on filming. Seriously? Older men are always better. Nice. You should probably smash your grandfather too. Maybe she didn't do it with the grandfather because the grandfather is not rich enough. Totally understand that. Cheers. Wait, one glass of champagne? Becca asked for two glasses. Oh, yeah, where's the another glass? Harold, you you idiot. Jesus, Harold. Oh my god. He's so freaking triggered. Okay, how about this? I think Sneaky Sushi should be the butler instead. Since Harold can't do his job, I think Sneaky Sushi can actually take over him and do a better job. What an incompetent butler. Okay, okay, okay. I get it, Sneaky Sushi. Just go and take over his job and be a better butler then. Oh my god. Why is Queen Becca the one putting flowers in her own bath? That was exactly what I was wondering. I thought a top tier sugar baby should like be the one relaxing at one corner, just enjoying their champagne and not do anything, you know. You know, if there's anything I've learned in this video is that if you are hiring a helper, you best be sure to get a competent one. Ugh, Harold. I think um, Sneaky Sushi is a potential helper because it seems like he is more specific and much more detailed in a sense like even a freaking ship lamb he don't even want to let it go well can't relate because if it's me I guess I'll be lazing at one corner anyway thanks for watching if this video made you smile consider subscribing it's free and you can unsubscribe anytime you want mm -hmm. um yeah that's it for this video <sighs> My lips are getting a little bit dry. Okay, go and drink a cup of uh, champagne if you actually have it. But if you don't have, you can go and drink some water from the toilet bowl. It's free. Well, I guess the only thing that I can take back after watching the video is the ship lamp. Because that's exactly what Sneaky Shushi has been talking about throughout the videos. I think like 80% of it was all about that ship lamp. <laughs> I don't know why does that shit actually annoy him that much that he have to talk about it all the way but anyway that's technically the end of the video and how i reacted to that sheep lamb i hope you guys enjoy it as always remember to subscribe like what he say it's free and you can unsubscribe every night it's free and you can unsubscribe anytime hopefully not also remember to like this video follow my social media here and i'll see you guys in my next video bye